is up, guys? I just want to tell everyone that I'm fine, the boys are fine, and Jason is fine, okay? We're going through a lot of stress because of this money thing. I realize that. And Jason is dealing with some things that he needs to go to the doctor for. And I've been aware of it for quite a while now. Um, but we're fine. Yes, he says some things that are very shocking to people. I agree. They're shocking to me. Well, I'm trying to keep this place going, so can you help me? You're not doing shit. I have put made some money here. You haven't made what much money for one month of rent. Not one month. Well, I so just got monetized. Here, and we have been here for a year and a half. I just got You've monetized. You've done nothing. What have you done? I got us in here, you fucking bitch. You're gonna hit me now? Yeah. Call the cops. I want out of this relationship. Times 30. Six times 30. You do the math. I would put it right here and pull that fucking trigger. But I realize that this isn't really him. This is this is what he's dealing with, you know, dealing with his mental health. And um, as his wife as his best friend and as his main supporter as as a partner as a friend as the person in his life um i'm making the decision to stay with him despite what other people are saying because i realize mental illness is real i i there there's times when i have problems with my mental illness and I do things that I don't want to do, but I do them anyway. And I recognize this within him. So since I recognize I have problems and he has his problems, um, you know, I look at it in a different way than what other people do. Because, you know, I have training in this type of stuff. You know, I've dealt, I, like, my main training... Um, in my last job was focused on people who had mental health problems. So because of that, I just, I don't take this stuff when I see someone going through like a mental health crisis. I don't take it to heart what they say or even what they do really, because I know it's not them. It's their illness. You know what I mean? Like when you don't do shit for anyone but yourself. You spent all my money. I spent all you your money? Spent off my fucking money. How? What did I spend my With money your on? Piece of shit children. Really? That break shit and we had to move 15 times. Fucking whore. You're the one who's saying I'm spending the 700000 when it's literally you spending all the money. No. What did I spend the money on? Fucking whore. What did I spend Spending the money on? my money. What did I spend the money on? feeding your kids. Oh, food. And your fat ass. So food. Fucking so disgusting food. fat ass. So you spit on me too. Yeah. You deserve After you fucked me yesterday. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Like when I act up, I know it's not me. It's my illness. Um, so it's like when you see people going through stuff like that, it's just best to give people grace and love and kindness and they'll eventually work through it but like right now it's just like it's hard time so because it's hard time because we're struggling so bad of course you know tempers are gonna flare and people are gonna lose their shit and stuff but he didn't mean anything what he said i knew that when he was, he was talking out of his ass he he does that i think it, it's like i call it like this pa boy like attitude thing and they just say the most nastiest things that they could possibly think of when they're angry. I don't know why they do that. It's just a lot of people from BA are like that. It's true. My dad was like that, too. My dad's like that. He's BA? No, he's New York. But he's... Oh, yeah, he's New York. But he's a lot like you and says really bad, horrible things to people when he gets angry, too. And I guess that. I know, I know it's not you. I know you're just dealing with a lot of stuff. I, I know. 
And that that's what it is. Now, there's going to be people who's going to play that video and try to turn it and spin it into things that it's not. That's okay. Things were said that were really fucked up. I, I agree. But I'm safe. The boys are safe. And no violence has occurred at all. So it's like... I'm doing what's right. Oh, and may I just add this? If you're going to play this video on your YouTube channel, since that video is behind a paywall, just remember it is the top paywall possible that they're going to charge you with. So that's $50 times however, how many people view it. So that's what you're looking for in court if you put my video on your uh, YouTube because it's behind a paywall. It's my copyright uh stuff so i mean you can't say fair use because it's behind a paywall it doesn't work fair use if it's behind a paywall and you have to pay for the video you see that that's that's actual theft by presenting that video because it's it's paid content you know what i mean